hello everyone this is ASMR if today I'm welcoming you to my new tutorial today I'll show you how to uh, add the 3d brush in your Photoshop and uh, how to add in your photo okay let's start at first go to the file then new I'll take a blank canvas the size of the blank canvas is the 2560 and 1440 and it's the landscape mode and pixel uh, resolution 300 pixel per inch and uh, the color mode RGB 8 bit custom and I'll give color the color code is AEAE -E, the background color code and ok and press the create option and color profile you can just um, keep the sRGB 2.1 okay then hit create option and you will get a blank canvas in your photoshop window after that you will have to go to the file and then place embedded option and here i have downloaded a picture from pixiebay.com a uh, model picture female model picture and i'll just click this picture and place it will open in your window and hit ok after that you have to restylize this one ok and then I'll just edit this photo slightly I'll just open it in a filter then camera filter and then I'll reduce the saturation increase the variance and go to the color direct the light color and saturation and the luminance I'll reduce and saturation I will increase and hue I will make it the minus 5% and orange I will add orange and luminance I will give reduce the luminance minus 2% and saturation I will give some saturation and after that I will go to the effect option and reduce the amount of effect and then I will go to the camera calibration and make it like that and just 13 percent I'll just decrease minus 31 percent and hit okay okay now just um, I'm apology for the um, Windows activation this um, uh, write-up I'm um, uh, extremely sorry for that type of disturbing text and I'll try to um, uh, remove this text in the next video okay ignore this one please okay after that just make a mask of this picture and press ctrl i for inverse mask or reverse mask and I already added the filter in our brush you can call it brush good brush in my brush palette which is a 3d brush palette here there is a 3d effects 3d brush says and I'm just making it white and just pressing over there and I'll take the another 3d brushes from my brush palette here is a many kind of 3d brushes you can add easily this one it will give you the nice effect which is good for your dynamic shapes okay and I'll reduce the brush size by pressing the third bracket opening and closing and you can just increase it or decrease it okay after that I'll go to the brush again and take the first one brush and make it smaller and just brush over the eyes <coughs> okay and the lips also that's good and after that I'll go to the gradient and make it linear to radial 
make it reverse and the tab also and make it to be different things hit ok and i will select this layer in the model layer and just reduce this layer so i'll move this layer in the middle okay after that you can reduce the opacity of the gradient just press over there and you can move the gradient from here okay this is good but uh, this one is not um, uh, colorful i will make it colorful okay after that <coughs> after that i will add the color lookup options and i will mask it and make the horror blue option it will apply only this layer okay and then i'll go to the gradient map i'll also make it flipping mask and apply over there and make it the skin or the soft light is good and reduce the opacity of the flipping mask in the gradient map also okay then i will add the layer level options add that some okay that's good okay after that i'll bring a uh, lens flare from the light options add from my mm, and I'll make it in the digitalize layer take the eraser tool erase this one okay make it skin and just move this one here okay make a select make a group of these layers press ctrl t and decrease the size of the portrait hit ok after that i'll go to the exposure and decrease some exposure increase some And make a group all the things and make it merge by pressing Ctrl Alt Shift E and go to the filter and camera raw filter and I'll go to the amount of sharpness I'll increase the detail of sharpness and reduce the luminance okay that's good and in this layer I'll increase the clarity saturation and variance and from the camera calibration I will make it like that hit ok after that I will go to the filter then make collection color effects pro <coughs> ok uh, I'm in a cross processing filter and then just select layer select effect or brush from here okay I think this one is good increase 44 percent reduce the shadow uh, or 5 percent is enough highlights 2 percent and hit ok and then reduce the opacity little bit and then go to the level again 
and make a group by pressing ctrl g and make march by pressing ctrl alt shift e okay this one is today's tutorial and it's too much easy to make you can make it uh, more creative by using this type of brush and i'll give you this brush link in my video description don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to get this type of amazing tutorial in the future and uh, don't forget to share with your friend and it will help me out and this one is the inspiration for me if you subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching my video and till the next video Bye -bye.